we use it for all our projects. I use this also for companies that I'm incubating or working with. One example being Kin, uh, which we just did a video on, the habit tracker I'm working on with my friend Omar. We put everything into Notion. That's everything from project specs that for things we're releasing. What's up guys, it's Justin Kahn, your favorite founder's favorite founder, back at it again. And today I'm gonna do a video on productivity, something I'm asked all the time. Justin, how do you balance so many projects? What's your daily workflow like? And I want to do this video about the tips and tricks and software that I use to be maximally productive and make the best use of my time, keep everything organized, because I'm doing a lot. I'm starting four companies. I'm making these extremely high quality YouTube videos, doing my podcast, The Quest. So juggling a lot takes a lot of organization and a lot of help. And in order to keep everything organized with what I'm doing, I found a system that works for me and I wanna show you what it is. But before we start, the sponsor for today's video is Notion, which is a piece of software that's the cornerstone of my productivity. It's basically my Justin Khan operating system and I use it to run all of my projects. And I started using it well before they ever reached out to sponsor this video. Notion's pretty cool. I started using Notion because it has excellent single player mode and it's a great multiplayer tool. And what I mean by that is it's basically the best personal database or note-taking tool for organizing your own projects, even if you never use it with anyone else. And so I used it at first to just start organizing everything I do, and then I started wanting to share those projects with my collaborators, and it turns out it's a pretty awesome multiplayer tool too. Notion does everything. I'm able to take notes, manage project boards for tasks, set goals, and basically search and find anything I've ever written down. Having everything in one place saves a lot of time. And on top of that, Notion's very customizable. Like basically you can do anything in it. It's hard to explain, but uh, you can embed pages inside of a table. And inside of those pages, you can have additional tables. Uh, you can put, you know, make these pages public so that you can share them with other people. It's kind of like a wiki and database and Google Docs all combined into one thing. A little later in the video, I'll go through some examples of how I use Notion. Sign up using the link in the description. I'm gonna drop it below. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go through uh, some of the tools I use every day. So this is Notion, and uh, I'll show you how we use Notion at Go Capital, which is my investment fund. Uh, and basically, we use it to organize everything that we're doing. So here's one example. Uh, we have an investment process like Docs. So we use it as our wiki. We write down like shared processes. Like for example, what's our investment process? Once we decide to invest, what do we do? Uh, so we have these shared, you know, kind of wiki pages. We also have gold boards here. Here's an example of investment tracker. Um, here are these companies. Like once we've decided to invest, uh, here are the uh, steps, right? Like so that we don't drop any balls uh, all the way through, you know, getting companies funded. You know, this is shared between my partner Robin and I, and then Grant, who's my chief of staff and runs the back office. Here's an example of like one of the most important things is I track every lead of every company I've ever talked to in Notion. Uh, so you can kind of see them here. When I start talking to a new company, you know, I have a terrible memory. So I'll press new and I start like immediately recording everything about this company, like test company. You know, and then I'll record, you know, who's the founder. And then uh, I'll show you like, oh, it's a, we assign it an owner. And then, um, you know, as I talk to the company, I'm like taking notes like, oh, revenue is growing whatever, 100% a month or whatever, you know, like I'll be taking notes about the company because uh, oftentimes I find I want to go back and reference uh, what I learned about the company. Maybe I'm meeting them again, or maybe we're having a discussion after the fact and I wanna remember some of the stats about the company. Uh, but my memory is terrible. So Notion, uh, having this database helps me remember everything about the company. When I'm coming back to write an investment memo, I'm always coming back to it to figure out like what are the things I liked about it, or if I have, if I have questions, I'll record them here. Yeah, it's super, super useful. One of the other things is like I can often, uh, I'll search for companies, so you can say like search Go Capital, so I'll say like, oh, what was, uh, I talked to Chorus, that was one of the companies we invested in, you know, and I can open up, you know, find it, and I'll be like, what did I like about Chorus? And I can go through and refer to the notes from there. That's basically it. We use it for all our projects. I use this also for companies that I'm incubating or working with. One example being Kin, uh, which we just did a video on, the habit tracker I'm working on with my friend Omar. Uh, so we put everything into Notion. That's everything from project specs that for things we're releasing. Here's an example of our values page, right? This is like the things that are important to us as a company and we have them all recorded in Notion so that everybody who joins the company can have easy access to that. 
you know, super important. Uh, and then we'll do everything from different engineering specs. You, know, you can see here, it's like our test accounts page, like shared data for engineering all the way to like project specs. So like uh, we have this idea of uh, accountability buddies we just rolled out uh, so that people can uh, find friends like Ken who can help them hold them accountable. And we'll talk about, you know, what's the problem? What's our approach? And we'll record everything here in Notion. And so without Notion running all my projects in the background, I think it would be really hard for me to have a central place where I kept track of everything that was going on uh, with everything I'm working on. Because I am working on a couple different companies. I'm working on obviously investing and I have a lot of personal projects as well. And they're all organized in this one workspace that I get from one account and it's really flexible to kind of put in any kind of data uh, like you can see. So love Notion, that's probably you know my number one productivity app. Outside of that, let's see what else have we got. The second thing I use all the time is Todoist. It's very simple, it's like a shared to-do list. Todoist is an app that is a flexible to-do list. You can make multiple lists, you can assign dates to things, but it's very, very simple. And it's got a desktop app and it's on my phone. I'll show it to you here as a desktop app. Uh, so every day you have an inbox, you know, here's my things to do. Obviously, if something's late, like record this generic out outro for my podcast, it's uh, marked in red. Everything that's due today is in green. I gotta do my tax preparation, uh, which is something I hate, which is why I need to put on a to-do list so I remember to do it. And then over here on the left, you can see all my projects uh, that I'm working on right now. So a couple different companies, different projects. You can see my YouTube channel here. So we can click into one thing and say, what are the, what's the to-do list that I have for that project? So for example, here on my YouTube channel to-do list, I have three things. It's write a script for a video I want to do about Airbnb. Uh, there's Ping, my friend Ezra, who works at uh, Mr. Beast's management company about trying to go out there and visit Mr. Beast. And then number three is do this video on productivity. I'm getting things done right now. All right, and then, you know, I've, I've also put in my personal projects. Uh, so stuff like personal investments and stuff I wanna do around my ranch, uh, like uh, put a trampoline in, very important stuff. Very important projects. Anyways, I used to do is to manage everything that's going on that's to do action items for myself. Notion's like all of the data and Todoist is like all my action items. One thing that people ask me, how do I keep up with all the portfolio companies? You know, I've invested in over 150 portfolio companies myself as an angel investor. And then with Goat, we've invested in at least 25 uh, companies in the last year. And keeping up with them is difficult at best, uh, making sure that we're on top of, of all these companies, but also that the founders are able to uh, get whatever they need from us. So one of the things we do is we create a text group for every company uh, that we invest in with the founders. Uh, so here's one, I keep using Chorus as an example. Here's one for uh, Chorus, uh, the meditation company. And um, Chorus, you know, shout out to Chorus. If you haven't checked it out, it's ChorusMeditation.com. And what these guys do is they're building an online meditation class. You know, you can dip into a live class and go through a meditation with other people. Pretty cool experience. Anyways, when we invest in the company, we created a WhatsApp group with Ali, the founder. You know, here's where we share uh, updates or she's like, oh, hey, can you help me promote this job post on Twitter, whatever it is, we're immediately responsive in this WhatsApp group. So we, we uh, my partner Robin and I do that for every company we invest in. Uh, so I'm always on text, like WhatsApp, Signal, Discord. Um, I'm always on chat. And that's basically like the best way uh, for me to manage communication. Like me, it's so much better than email. Um, one last thing I'll talk about is my productivity super weapon, which is the secret to how I start so many companies how I make so many investments, how I'm working on so many different projects. And that super weapon is delegation. Uh, I've been called by friends, the world's best delegator or Silicon Valley's Tom Sawyer. One thing I'm really good at is hyping people up, getting them excited about projects, but then also making people feel empowered to participate in them and really finding leaders to run with my crazy ideas. I never start a new project, whether it's the fund or a company without having co-founders who really can do a lot of the heavy lifting. You know, I know what I'm good at. I'm, let's be honest, I'm a great ideas guy. I'm really an amazing evangelist. I love hyping things up. I'm really good at all the sales things, right? Like I'm good at fundraising, I'm good at selling, I'm good at recruiting. But when it comes to the operational day-to-day, -day, I'm probably not the person that people wanna tap. And so 
What I like to do is partner with people who want to do that part. That's in their zone of genius. I know what's in mine and we can work together to make something that's really great. All of these tools that I use, whether it's my shared to-do list on Todoist, whether it's Notion, uh, whether it's a chat group or Discord, I'm using to communicate with my team. They're all basically methods for me to collaborate with other people and to delegate. I would encourage you, when you think about productivity for yourself, the number one thing you can do to make yourself maximum productive is work in your zone of genius. What are the things that give you energy that you're great at? Most of us are stuck in our zone of competence, which is the things we're good at, but don't give us energy. They, in fact, takes energy away from us. And the problem is when we're working in our zone of competence, when we're working on things that take energy away from us, then we're gonna get burned out. And I have so many friends of mine who are CEOs of amazing big companies, but they're in their zone of competence and they're getting burned out. So my belief, number one thing you can do to stay productive is to stay in your zone of genius and to find those things that you love to do, that you're great at, that give you energy. So how do you do that? Here's my one hack on finding your zone of genius. It is called a calendar audit. And what you should do is print out your calendar, print out the last couple of weeks and everything that took away energy, circle it in red. Everything that gave you energy, circle it in green. And then go through all the red things and figure out how do I get somebody else to do them? Or how do I change them so that they'll actually be something green and give me energy? So if that's a meeting, maybe it's like you don't have to attend that meeting. Or maybe it's like how do we change this meeting so that it's more energizing for me, it's shorter, or I'm just doing the part that I'm great at. That's it. And if you iterate through that, you do a calendar audit, you move things from your zone of competence to your zone of genius, or eliminate them from your schedule, well, then you are going to be energized and maximally productive every day. After a few rounds of iteration, you're gonna be great and you're gonna love your job. Notion is an essential toolkit for startups. In fact, 90% of the Forbes Cloud 100 and over 50% of YC batches use Notion to help build their teams, fundraise, ship products, and more. Now, any startup can apply to receive at least $500 in credit to use towards Notion's team-based plans for free. If you're a startup working with one of our accelerator partners, you can apply to receive up to $1,000 in free Notion credit. Notion wants all founders to have access to the support and tools they need, no matter what path they take. Sign up using the link below. So that's it. That's the video. Uh, I hope you use these tips to go become a hugely successful entrepreneur or succeed at whatever it is that you want to do. If you found this video helpful, you know what to do. Like the video, smash subscribe, and I'll be your best friend forever. All right, see you guys next time.